We first met Ava Thomas back in August. She's a Louisiana four-year-old who's spent the past six months in the hospital awaiting a new set of lungs. Andrea Robinson followed up with her family as they anticipate spending the holidays at a Houston hospital. Say hey. Hi. Say hey. <laughs> For little Ava Thomas and her family, the holidays are going to look a little different this year. It's going to be hard. One of those days, like Halloween was hard for me. Ava wasn't feeling great that day, so we never did get to dress up. The Thomas family will be spending Thanksgiving and most likely Christmas and even bringing in the new year at the hospital, where they've spent more than half a year already after Ava got sick with pneumonia. She has cystic fibrosis, so the pneumonia really hit her very hard. Um, once we were here, they thought once they hit her full with the very strong antibiotics that it would heal, her lungs did not heal. Now it's a waiting game for new lungs. We're just waiting for that phone call. We never imagined we'd, we'd still be waiting now, but if, because of Ava's size, it's much harder um, to find a donor that size. And we understand that we're being patient. Right now, Ava's condition is stable as she's on ECMO treatment, which is bypassing her lungs that don't work. She's breaking records? Yes, we've set lots um, of records here in the hospital. And, uh, but she's maintaining. Her parents say she's been the youngest patient in the hospital to have been on ECMO for more than 190 days. She's confined to a bed, but you wouldn't... Um, you wouldn't know that if you were to talk to her. Despite her daily hospital routine from various treatments and physical therapy, Ava is still one spunky four-year-old. <laughs> now with the holidays approaching, her roof has already been decked out for Christmas as the Thomas family remains optimistic. The days keep coming and going and we're just staying positive and waiting for that special phone call. Andrea Robinson, 7 News. Her family says even if Ava gets a match for a lung transplant today, that would mean they'd still have to spend about three months more in the hospital for her to recover from surgery. While many of you may have gathered around the table with family and friends, many first responders put on their uniforms and headed into work to make sure everyone could have a safe Thanksgiving.